皆さん、こんにちは。Hello, my dear gamers, Yorkfield here. And Yorkfield is finally back to make more content. So before we start this third episode of TSL, I actually want to tell you something. I really apologize for not uploading the third part earlier because I had、um, a ton of things to do and especially preparing for my new main PC upgrade, which by the way, I do have right now for over a week as I'm recording this video. And yeah, I finally got the upgrade build. And as I promised, once I get my upgrade build, I will try to make as much content as I can. On this channel and on my main French channel as well. And so I finally have this computer now, and we're going to continue our adventure on YouTube. And on this video, we'll continue with the third part of Tokyo School Life. Are you ready? Ikimashou! それでは改めまして Okay, once more from the top. ようこそ、トモイリョへ。Yorkfield Sun, welcome to Tome Dormitory. 歓迎会、始めるよ Let's get this welcome party started. Thanks, I'm so happy you are throwing such a great party just for me. Aoi lays a mountain of her homemade food that she made all by herself on the table. The sushi pizza, pizza, mapudofu, and other foods from all around the world. Is this for real? It's so amazing. Itadakimasu! Itadakimasu, yeah, it's. It means something like thank you for the meal before you start eating. It also means,、um, I'll take it. Huh? What's that? Yeah, as you can see, Sakura is right. It's a way to show your respect before a meal. It shows thanks for the life you are about to receive and those who prepared it by enjoying partaking in it. Oh, I see. That's a nice custom. When you're done eating, you put all your thanks into saying, Gochi sama. You can also say, Gochi sama deshita for being more formal and polite. It means, thank you for the wonderful meal. Okay then, itadakimasu. Once again, I look over the various food items on the table. Amazing! It all looks so yummy! Aoi, you're amazing! <laughs> don't praise me until you try it, okay? I don't know what you like, so I made a lot of different things. York filled. What kind of food do you like? Okay, so now we have our very first choice. Japanese food famous around the world for being healthy. Western food, I'm used to it and it suits my taste. Chinese food with. <laughs> oh my god! Does Chinese food really have rich flavor? What the hell? I didn't know that! <laughs> Tell me, guys, if this is true in the comments. I'm gonna say Japanese food famous around the world for being healthy. Of course, there's no question. It's gotta be Japanese food. Did you know Japanese food is popular all around the world right now? It's the talk of celebrities lately to, due to how healthy it is. <laughs> I like how she did <laughs> That's That's why I laugh. <laughs> oh, I see, I see. Then while you're here, I'll make you lots of delicious Japanese food. Look forward to it. I can already tell she's an amazing cook just by looking at this food. I can't wait. But man, this is a lot of food. I think I'm a pretty big eater, but I don't think even I can handle all this. <laughs> oh, don't you worry about that, okay? I wonder if she was just making allowance for more food since I'm a guy. Is she made this much because of me? I gotta take the responsibility and eat it all. And now it's party time! All of Aoi's cooking is superbly delicious. The sushi she made was a small and cute variation called Temari Sushi. They're so colorful and fun to look at. Also, the vine gared rice, like the onigiri she gave me this morning, comes apart in my mouth so perfectly. It blends in such perfect harmony with the toppings that I can't just get enough. The mapo dofu is perfectly flavored to be slightly spicy and slightly sweet. It brings out the flavor of the garlic, 
Oh, garlic, I love that. And the ground meat, making it extraordinarily delicious. I can't stop sweating when I eat this. And the pizza is... Pizza? Aoi, what are the toppings on this pizza? Mayo-jaga mentaiko sauce pizza omochi iri da yo! Mentaiko sauce ni jagaimo to sausage ni omochi o nosete mayonnaise de matometa no! Omise no pizza ga oishi sou datta kara sanko ni shite mi ta nda! Mayo put a mentaiko sauce pizza with mochi. I added mentaiko fish roe sauce, potatoes, sausage and mochi, and then topped it off with mayonnaise. I based it off a pizza that was lum yummy in the restaurants. That's a great idea. That's a great idea if you ask me. What? This isn't something I always dreamed of, but something they sell in restaurants? What a weird combination. Mayo on a pizza. <laughs> I took a bite. Yeah, not bad. Well, it actually tastes good, but I don't know. When you think of pizza, isn't simple margarita pizza what comes to mind? Yeah, in my opinion, yes. <laughs> <laughs> I like how Karim said it. <laughs> huh? Mayonnaise? What is she gonna do with that? Karim slowly but surely spins the mayonnaise around the mayo potato mayo pota mentaiko sauce with mochi pizza forming a mayo mountain. What? Mmm, <laughs> yum! Aoi, your cooking is the best. Plus, your sushi is like so cute, it's not fair. Wait, 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 wait. How are you gonna chop mayo with mayo? That's not her cooking anymore. That's almost entirely mayo. You might as well just suck it straight from the tube. <laughs> What's your problem? You look like you're dying for a taste, but I'm not gonna share it with you. Got it? Guys, is Karin selfish or something? Spare me. Karin chan is such a mayor. Yeah, that's true. Huh? Mayor? What's that? A person who eats mayo? Oh. Now that I look closely, all of Karin's dishes are covered in mayonnaise on the sushi and on the mapo dofu. What's up with this girl's sense of taste? Look, even closer, there's a mountain of plates peeled up in front of her. There was so much food here, but at some point, a lot of it disappeared. How much did Karin shovel away on her own? Karin-chan, you always look so happy when you eat, so I just love to cook for you. No way, this is on a different level. He's gotta gain weight from this. I'm getting worried just looking. Yes, Aoi-san, your cooking is just so good. I end up eating too much before I realize it. Now that I, that I think about it, I didn't see Sakura eating very much. She just picked a bite of two from each plate. Gochi sama. Whoa, I'm full. No way, no way. Sakura, is that all you're gonna eat? Well, I'm a light eater. They say girls have smaller tits, but I'm worried about her for a totally different reason than Karim. If that's all she ate, how can she hold up? Hey, hey, Yorkfield, Yorkfield. You came here as an exchange student because you like Japan, right? Does that mean you're interested in all different kinds of Japanese food too? Uh, huh? Yeah, I like Japanese food. It's nice and healthy. Alright, I thought so. So I made lots of different things. Go ahead, eat up. Aoi brings more dishes to the table, one after another. Um, Aoi-san? What is this? 
梅干しでしょ納豆でしょ卵かけご飯でしょ Since you're so well versed about Japan, I prepared some things for the more experienced palate. We got umeboshi, natu, and tamago kake gohan. Whoa! Okay, I admit I've always loved and admired Japan, but I think I'd rather give these very distinct food a shot after I get a little more, get a little more set, settled in. Um, Ayui, I. Uh, oh no! I can't say anything, I just can't look at Ayui's smile and say no. Um, Yorkfield san, you don't have to force it. I think the fermented food is especially hard for foreigners. Thank you, Sakura, I'm thinking, thankful for your consideration. Oh, I, Yorkfield Zaisho, I'm a real man who gets things done. I set my mind to this. Itadakimasu! <laughs> they put the burp! Just like I burped in the previous videos. You probably remember me burping occasionally. I always homemade umeboshi were in intensely sour. sour. The natto was sticky and bitter. Despite all that, I wouldn't quite say they were gross. I, it was nothing I couldn't finish if I tried. So to keep from clouding up Ayui's sunny smile, I did my best. But that is just impossible. Wait, is tamago kake gohan? Just plopping a raw egg on top of rice? How can you call that a meal? I thought they weren't supposed to eat raw eggs. Japanese people, I just don't get it. No matter what, I just can't mentally accept the idea of this dish and I accept defeat from the tamago kake gohan. I play it off like I'm too full from having eaten so much and slip over from tomato metri. Karin, Sakura, and Ayoi. The three of them are different from the sweet, delicate Yamato Nadeshiko that I'd imagine. They're all girls who can't be summed up so easily. My stomach's calmed down, guys, so I'll be. I'll go back. When I get back to the living room, the party's already over. The silence is a huge contrast to all the ruckus from just moments before. It's kind of a lonely sight. <laughs> Oh, Yorkfield, are you okay now? Do you want some stomach medicine? I didn't know it, if this exists or if it existed. Oh, thanks, Ayoi. No, I'm okay. My stomach's all calmed down now. Ayoi grins and looks at the messy table. She's probably thinking the same thing as me. It was fun, huh? Yeah, it was really fun. Ayoi, I'll help you clean up. What? Yorkfield, you're a guest, so you can take it easy. Not anymore. I'm not. Starting today, I'm family, remember? So no need to hold back anymore. <laughs> okay, then I'll ask for some help. Those two won't help out with this stuff at all, so I'm really happy to hear that. Yeah, Karin too, but Sakura won't either? She's really, she really is entirely different from my first impression of her. The image of Yamato Nadeshiko girls I had in my mind before I came to Japan is completely shattered. But really, of course it has. There aren't manga characters, they're real life human beings. So of course they're not like what I had imagined. I hope we can get along well so I can learn more and more about them over the next two months. What should I carry? <laughs> Well, could you gather up the dishes over there and bring them to the sink and then I'll wash them? And then I'll wash them, sorry. Just as she asked, I pile up some dishes and pick them up. I guess this is enough? Whoa! I glance over and Ayui is carrying a huge amount of plates. She, she skillfully balances them perfectly as she stands up and seems to glide right to the kitchen. Amazing! As a man, I can't lose to her. Careful now. Uh-oh. Did I overdo it? No, it's gonna be okay. Whoa! That scared me, guys. It's not okay. I trip on a stray power cord and do a spectacular jump of uh, fail falling down. 
You all feel, are you okay? Oh man, oh no, we gotta get you in the bath. The moment I tripped, the liquid left on the plate fell right on, to my, on my head. My clothes are soaked with juice and feel gross and sticky. It just pay back for having spilled tea on Ayui yesterday? Ayui, I'm sorry. It's okay, hurry up! Over here, over here! Ayui rushes me along as I run down the hallway of Tomato Machine. I'm gonna wash your clothes right away, so put them in the box in the front of the bath. Oh, is it okay if I open your luggage to look for a change of clothes for you? Yeah, I'll leave that to you. It's kind of embarrassing to have a girl looking for my luggage, but I guess that's how it goes when we're family. I casually open the bathroom door. Holy crap! Oh no. Oh, Karin-chan and Sakura-chan said they were going to take a bath. You should have told me something important like that earlier. Please don't look. I'm trying to, but I have to read the text right here. You freaking weave of perfect hygiene? I'll kill you, die! Go back. Karin, try to calm down. It was me. It's my fault. This time, it's definitely not my fault. Oh no! Okay, that was totally unexpected, guys. Oh no, let's kick him out after all. Guilty. Ad adjourned. A man saw my bare skin. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, it's Mate. Really? It was my fault. Not Yorkfields, but, but, I'm so embarrassed that I could die. I just panicked and brought him to the bathroom, even, uh, even though I knew you were in there. So that was really my fault. Well, but that's, I'm really sorry. Ugh. Oh, no, um, Aoi, it's not entirely your, ugh, Karin-san? Ah. Fine, I'm sorry too. I know, I know. It wasn't really his fault. I even know we were just careless for forgetting to lock the door. <laughs> we just aren't used to having to lock the door. But, but, uh, just let me complain to both of some steam. Ah! Ayui san, I don't think you would be able to stay calm either if someone saw you like that. Um, yeah, I'm really sorry. Bah! No more! This conversation's over. I agree, let's stop blaming each other and just forget about the whole thing. I'll be more careful next time. Ugh! Stop talking about it already! Jeez! Anyway, we really have to be more careful about lots of things in the future. Well, he doesn't seem like a bad guy. I guess I could be a little more careful for him. Yes, you're right. Hey, don't get the wrong idea. I'm not saying I'll be nice. Oh, God. Good morning, Yorkfield. Did you sleep well? You've probably gotten over your jet lag, right? Oh, good morning, Aoi. Yep, I'm okay. I slept like a baby. I feel great. <laughs> a typical day at Tomoe Dormitory starts with Aoi waking everyone up. She gets up early, makes breakfast, and sounds the wake-up call. She's like everyone's mom. The room I'm staying in at Tomoe Dormitory is a lovely room with full tatami mats. I don't have a bed exactly, I just sleep on a futon directly on top of the mats. The futon is just a thin cushion, not more than a few centimeters thick. Normally, after waking up, you put it on a clothing called Oshire and take it out again when you're ready to go to bed for the night and spread it out. So when you wake up in the morning, the first thing you do is fold up your futon and put it in the closet. Karin, good morning. Ohayou gozaimasu. Ah, ohayou. Oh, good morning. Karin's fixating on television. She's watching a news broadcast featuring a stray cat who had eight kittens at once. That's become the talk of the town. Yeah, boy. Talk, 
こもこのふわふわじゃん。こんなにお尻ふりふりさせて、私を殺すつもり。Holy shit, her eyes! Look, look close at the, at the mouse. Her eyes are shiny. Oh my god, that's so nice. Oh man, so cute. So fluffy wuffy. You're gonna kill me if you wiggle your tushy. Oh my god. Karin's so moody. That's just about just what I was about to say. She can be scary when she's mad, but I kind of feel like she acts tall for everyone's sake. I guess if Ayo is the mom, then Karin's the dad, though she wouldn't be too happy if I said that to her. Good morning. Sakura chan, come on, wake up, eat breakfast, and let's get going to school. Sakura, on the other hand, is quiet and refined. Maybe it should be the spoiled daughter? Itadakimasu! Itadakimasu! Ayui seems like she can whip up any kind of food out there, but the breakfast she usually goes the traditional Japanese route white rice, miso soup, omelettes, and picked vegetables. Pickled vegetables! Oh, so yummy! None of the meals Ayoi makes are particularly elegant, but they have a gentle taste. Are chopsticks hard for you to use? We got forks and spoons too, so if you can't handle, just let me know, okay? I'm fine. Before I came to Japan, I did intensive training, so this is a piece of cake for me. <sighs> I want a kitty. I wonder if I could get away with, with keeping one secretly. I want a snuggle woggle. I like how she said, Oh, you can save us. For me, at least. I don't know if it's funny for you, but yeah, let's continue. Okay, I better hurry up and eat so I can get ready for school. Today is the second weekday since I've come to Japan, so that means I gotta go to school. Yogfeld san, you're really good at Japanese. Well, in the game, yeah, I'm really good at Japanese, but in real life, I'm currently not. As good as the Japanese themselves. I'm currently studying Japanese with four different ways shown on the screen. But yeah, I hope I'll be studying most of the language and I'll be speaking like a native, okay? So please wish me luck in the comments. He really is. I was nervous when I heard we were gonna have a guest from overseas, but I got off the hook since your field can speak Japanese. You think so? I was really worried if people in Japan could understand me or not. My Japanese isn't weird? Yes, your speaking is very easy to comprehend. You must have attended a Japanese language school, right? No, no, I learned the basics from Sensei. But the rest I learned from manga and anime and stuff like that. I think learning with something you actually want to read is the best way to improve. I see. They do say, what one likes, one will do well. By the way, who is this sensei you speak of? A weird guy who lives in my neighborhood. He... Well, I don't actually know what he does for a living, really. Normally he just lounges around, but every now and then he goes to other countries, and now he can speak a ton of languages. Now that I think about it, what's his deal anyway? Well, sounds like he'd get along well with old Shirakawa then. After talking a bit through the tranquil countryside landscape, we reach a residential area. If we get on the train at the station and go for a few stations down, we'll be in Okawa, where our school is. We will, but... Why is there so many people? There's a huge crowd of people in the front of the station. 
What? All these people are gonna get on the same train? Seriously? This is Tokyo, what did you expect, guys? It's not like it's this is your first time riding a train in Japan, right? How else did you get around Friday? On Friday, I took the bus directly from Narita. Oh. What? What's the matter? You will fail, just try to survive somehow. I'm gonna die! Just how hard is this gonna be? Aoi and Karin, why do you look so amused about this? Being inside the Japanese commuter train is hell! The train slides up to the platform, filled to the brim with people. The train is so full that it doesn't look like we can get on. I guess we'll have to wait for the next train, but... I can't believe it, but the station attendant starts cramming people into the train. No way. Absolutely no flipping way. Is what I think as I'm pushed into the train and jammed tightly into a crevice between people. This isn't just getting on a train, it's more like getting put on a train by force. People, 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 and yes, more people in all directions. Squeezed together without a single gap. It's not that... It's not just that I can't walk, even slightly changing position is impossible. People are too close, but the pressure is so tight I can't even think about it. The train approaches a curve. The jam-packed masses shift their weight in unison, and of course, all that pressure leans on me. My insides! My insides are gonna come out! My insides! Ayoi and Karin look on in amusement as I wail in pain. Damn it! The only one who's worried about me is Sakura. I thought I was gonna die. It was a mere 10 minutes, but it was pure hell. People who commute to the city center have to withstand that for over an hour? Japanese people are crazy. You will feel, are you okay? Should we take a break? Thank you. Your kindness reaches to the bottom of my heart. I gotta ask, how are you guys acting like you are fine after this? Mm, I don't know. Everything has a trick to it. You're just a noob, so you don't... <laughs> what the fuck? She called me a noob! <laughs> Jesus Christ! <laughs> what the hell? Oh my god, Karin! Please tell me this is a joke, okay? I guess we're just used to it? Inside the train, I was near the three of them, so it kind of been exciting to be squeezed so close to them, but I didn't have the composure to even think about it at the time, but yeah, this is true. Not just Karin and Aoi, but even Sakura seemed so calm about this. Japanese schoolgirls are fearsome. Mitteke darigato for watching this video. I'll see you in probably the next episode of TSL or in another video coming shortly on this channel since, you know, I have my new computer here. So, yeah. Stay safe, take care of you, and remember, life is a game with many games to choose from. Peace. Bye.